an interesting old variety of apple, Adam's Pear Main. This has been in cultivation for uh, over 200 years and this is a point I've made before, with these old apples, uh, free, never been grown much commercially uh, on you know big orchards of it, but it's an apple that has been popular with gardeners. It's a fav favourite gardener's apple. Uh, um, so these very old apples, they've got some natural disease resistance. They wouldn't have been selected by the intelligent gardeners over all these years if they weren't uh, good apples to grow. Uh, it's called a pear main, not that the names given to apples are always uh, uh, exactly chosen on um, uh, grounds of performance or appearance, but a pear main generally is an apple with a tapering appearance. It looks a bit like a pear. Uh, it's a medium cropper, it's fairly reliable apple. I've got just three trees of this variety, but I'm going to increase it uh, probably. Uh, not the biggest apple, it's, uh, you can see compared to my hand. I mean, they do grow larger than this, uh, but that's a sort of fairly typical size that you might expect. Um, it's a reasonably reliable cropper. It does make these very long shoots, though. Very long shoots, and I, I tend to give this fairly hard summer pruning. Uh, but yeah, Adam's Pear Main, um, I'll put a bit of uh, specific information up in the text uh, box. Uh, when I've got my books at hand, um, but it's an apple we've been growing for four or five years and people like it, people buy it and it's a good recommend for the backyard uh, because of its genetic potential and um, because of its natural disease resistance. And it's a well-flavoured apple, it'll keep decently um, into the winter, probably until Christmas.